Yeah, that was pretty cool, right? Well, I just got back from yet another trip. I know since the pandemic is kind of come to coming to a close and we can travel everywhere, I've decided to try and travel as much as I can. And as you guys have noticed, my past couple of trips, I've used a specific device to record content on that trip. And this time it is the Galaxy Z Fold 2. This bad boy has been out for about a year and I'm here to show you what it can actually do. So uh, this trip was out to St. Martin and uh, I went there for my friend's birthday and uh, there were a ton of us there. So I used this opportunity to capture video content on the island, around the island, all the fun things we actually did in St. Martin, which is well, actually it was pretty cool. Great island. Honestly, if you get the chance to go visit, you should. Now, before we even jump to any of that stuff, is the Galaxy Z Fold 2 or the Galaxy Fold 2 capable of doing all that? Yes, it is. It's got a very decent, adequate camera and batteries uh, lasted me well enough for all the recording that I needed to do. But of course you would say, hey, Thunder E really doesn't matter. Any smartphone can do that. Any high-end smartphone can do that. Why take a foldable on that trip? Well, it's because, well, I'm going on a vacation trip, which means I've got a screen right here in front where I can navigate and just do my daily tasks. But I was able to open this up and use this screen as well. Now, what did I use it for on my trip? Now, while taking images, photos, videos, people were asking me, what did you capture? What did you capture? Because I was the resident, you know, YouTube guy or videographer. Honestly, that is just a, calling me a videographer is a disgrace to the profession. I'm very sorry, Daniel. So yeah, he's nodding over there. But you, I was able to show my friends the footage I was taking off this device, which was cool. Now, the other thing too is that while flying down, I used this device to watch movies on the plane. Uh, even though it was a three and a half hour trip, we were able to watch our favorite shows. And again, it's an Android device, a Samsung device, which means I can connect two headphones at the same time. You don't realize how important that is, especially when you're traveling with someone. So that is actually a cool feature that of course you can find on the Z Fold 2. But again, it's not a main feature. Now, look, this device has some really cool quirks. The fact that you can fold it and you can watch contents directly this way. It splits things like YouTube quite well, so you can have video on top, uh, comments in the bottom. Um, also the fact that, look, while I, I can use this as a great uh, selfie camera for all the times we're taking photos uh, on St. Martin. So the ability to actually navigate that way and use my camera in that fashion is pretty cool. So it was great to take uh, photos with friends, capture those kind of content and see how they actually came out. So how about we take a look at some of the photos I took on the island and uh, let's see what it's, uh, it's all about. As you can see, uh, the Z Fold 2 camera still does a really fantastic job in daytime, highlighting some of the waters uh, on the beaches of St. Martin. Honestly, they've got some really great beaches. And also just the environments in general and capturing people as effectively as possible. So I really liked that about the camera. In terms of low light footage though, it was a bit mixed. Sometimes it worked out well, sometimes not as much. So take it as you will. And again, because the camera sensor is not the latest sensor on there, you can see what I mean with the images. But video though, video has been solid with this camera. And I do apologize, some of the video content was shot at 1080p upscale for this video, but when shot at 4K, it is absolutely amazing in daytime, very steady. There's a shot where I'm walking down uh, the pier 
and I am not doing a good job. My hands are probably shaking, but it did a really good job stabilizing it. Daniel would be proud. If I didn't even mention it, he would think I had a gimbal with me. That's what he's even thinking right now as he's looking at the footage. Okay, I lied, he's not really, just sorry. But anyway, the footage looked really good and I was impressed with that kind of footage on uh, this device. Now, in terms of nighttime video, uh, it's hit or miss. It's really hit or miss, depending on how much ambient lighting you have in the environment. But it still does a good job. Now, there's some things I would like to say that I really enjoy in this device. One of them is gaming. The ability to open up your device and have a seven inch display and start playing games. Now, I love to play Forza Horizon 4. I cannot play it on this device right now, even though I could, could definitely do that with, uh, of course, Xbox Game Pass, but playing Call of Duty Mobile works really well. It's flawless. You can see me kill lots of people who are standing right in front of me, and it is a great gaming experience. Now, uh, this phone also has some really good battery life uh, on there, surprisingly, even though the battery is smaller than the Galaxy S21 Ultra, and the speakers are still the loudest for any smartphone because you've got dual bottom firing speakers. Now, there are some things I would like to see change on the Galaxy Z Fold 2 uh, that I would like to see implemented on the Z Fold 3, which apparently Samsung has announced the unpacked event, which uh, you can do your reservations for its latest devices. And I have a link for you guys down below if you're interested. Now, with the Z Fold 3, what I would like to see, I would like to see a thinner device. Now, this device is a thick boy when you fold it up, so it kind of looks like that. I would like to see a reduced gap if possible. What I also would like to see is better cameras at the back, at least taking something from its Galaxy S21 line from this year. The other things that will, I would love to see implemented with this device is also the use of an S Pen. We've heard rumors you might use the S Pen Pro, we don't know, we just have to wait and see, but it will be fantastic to see that in action on the Galaxy Z Fold 3. I know they can't bring that to Z Fold 2 because it doesn't have the technology built into the screen uh, in there. But I think overall though, when you look at the Z Fold 2 and what it brought to the table, it brought a sense of sophistication, it, it brought a sense of styling, it brought multi-flexibility for Android devices that we've never seen. And I think, look, that, plays a lot. I didn't even talk about the fact that you can split that internal display into, into four screens, which is great. And it's great for multitasking uh, as well. But anyway, I digress. For me on my trip on the island, it was great to use this device. It was great to share this device with friends because it was easier for me to share content with that them. And I think that was really, really important for me on this trip. So it all depends on what you're looking for. So if you're looking to pick up the Galaxy Z Fold 2, then go ahead. I have a link for you down below. Or maybe even the Galaxy Z Flip or even the Z Flip 3. Now this is a very different foldable device where it is a clamshell and it opens up. Some people like this, some people like the difference here as opposed to what this brings to the table, but it's your choice. Anyway, guys, the links are down below for either of these devices. If you have any questions or any comments, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, and always enjoy your entertainment.